Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. Today I'm making my first cook with the Uni Fire 12. The challenge is that it fits an easy oven to use. I normally have a kind of okay first cook. I've got my pellets here. I'm gonna light them with my butane burner and we'll see how that goes. burning nicely. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to the temperature I need. It does say 15 minutes in the booklet so I'm going to check now to see if it's 350 degrees centigrade in the centre of the stone and if it is I'm going to go make my pizza. Okay so I'm gonna... I love this door thing. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's very quick and easy to do. Right it is... okay it's 380. That's like more than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to quickly make my pizza. My pizza ready, it's ready to go in, but I don't know what the temperature of this oven is going to be like. Way too high. If you can see the red light is in the middle of the oven and it's 529 degrees centigrade. Far too hot. I thought that might be the case, so I brought a little trick with me. I'm going to put that in there for 60 seconds. That normally brings down the temperature by 100 degrees in 60 seconds. It's interesting with the flames. It's not bad actually with the door off. A bit of a breeze then. Wondering if I can cook with the door off today. Now there they're shooting out in the back. Can you see right there? And now they're coming to the front. It's like back, front, back, front. Let's get this out. That's the right temperature, about 420 to 430 centigrade. Let's get this pizza in. This is Future Me reviewing my first cook. I filled up the topper, which was easy to do. I came back, my oven was hot. Didn't even have to worry about it. Put my pizza in. I kept the door on here for about 10 to 15 seconds and I couldn't hear any pull in the oven so I took the door off then I left that on again for about 10 to 15 seconds and so what I needed to do was tap the hopper at the back get the pellets to go down more to give fuel to the fire once I did that the second half of the cook was a lot quicker and I kept the door on more often because I could hear it cooking inside so this pizza ended up being really crusty, very nice crusty pizza. It did take a while longer for it to cook. And I think that's just because I'm getting used to the oven. Once it got going in the second half of the cook, it did cook a lot quicker. I think that's more to do with the flame management at the back to make sure the pellets fall down all the time. But other than that, once I tapped it, I left it for a good few minutes and then it was fine. Once I got used to the top, the hopper, I keep calling it topper. When I've got the door on, I can't see what's going on. There's a little hole there, but I can't really see much in that hole. So I'd rather it take a bit longer to cook in the early days of using this oven than scorching it. Are done.
very, very crispy. But I have to say this base has cooked really well and that's a crunchy. It's so like crusty. I don't know if you can hear that. So if that's what you're after, this did it. And it's such a nice tasting pizza. The height of that topper is absolutely fine. Just gotta give it a bit of a, you know, like a, a bang to get the pellets to, to make sure they fall down into the grate. Um, the oven heated up really fast, much faster than I thought it would. And it took me a, a bit by surprise. So using a pan to bring it down just gives you that total control. No waiting around. I had an open mind when I came in to cook this first cook because first cooks are always like I'm a bit nervous with them because they demonstrate to me how either easy or hard an oven is to cook with and I have to say that I'm more impressed than I thought I would be because I had memories of myself burning pizza when I first started cooking in the Uni 3. But I think that may have been more my inexperience and lack of knowledge than it was the oven because this oven is pretty much the same size. I've, I'm not a big fan of wood pellets. I think gas is easier to be honest. But if you like wood pellets, then this is a good oven. I love that door handle and the little peephole, I didn't really use it. I think looking at the back helps with the grate. The oven gets so hot so fast, I don't think it really makes much of a difference taking the door off. And I was cooking in a little bit of a gusty day. It was calm and then it would like blow quite a bit. And so I think it performed well because I was a bit worried about the wind going in the grate, but you could see that the, the flames were fluctuating back and forward as I was cooking. But overall, I found it really easy to use for a wood pellet fire and for a wood pellet oven. And it's really created a crunchy pizza here. It didn't cook it quickly. That was due to me taking my time over making sure I wasn't gonna burn it. It's a good oven if you like cooking with wood pellets. I'm looking forward to making a lot more pizza in there. It won't be my go-to oven because I'm not a fan of pellet cooking, but I will make pizza in it. For those of you who would like to see cooks in it, so I'm gonna do that. I hope you enjoyed this video of my first cook in the Unifier 12. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.